So here we are with the new Evernote experience and for many people this will probably be rolling out largely early access which means that you'll have to sign up but for many others it's rolling out on desktop web from the 15th of January. Um, so I wanted to go over some of my opinions of it in a bit more detail, uh, sort of share it and um, see what you think in terms of the general look. So first and foremost they've cut all the fat like they've taken out anything that is too intense visually and i quite like it initially like the combination of um sort of flat design is really nice you can move the sidebar over here and have this really really clean home look everything's still largely the same like you can customize your home with all the notebooks and stuff like that and change the background but there's just a sense of noise reduction uh, that is just taken out of this completely so what you can notice as well is that the font is slightly different. I believe they've gone a little bit more sort of less intense as well. I think it was called Inter or something like that. They've gone from or they've gone to. Not the best design expert, so uh, I can't give you all the answers with that. But let's go to notes area. And as you can see, this whole notes area, very much the same, but just a lot of the weight taken out of what's shown on screen um, you can still move stuff about something that i've noticed quite dramatically is the speed between switching of the notes probably because i haven't last checked out evernote for probably two months last time i checked like it was probably when they did some of those other or they were having more trouble with the sort of initial not core experience but they were trying to fix a lot of like sort of routine stuff and this is a lot speedier than it was uh, previously at least um, so that's good news I also found that loading notes was a lot faster this is a new notebooks area and tasks is just like this panel that pops out so it's really quite simple in a way um, so this is just a good example of of what it looks like in terms of the design um, things still pop out on this left hand side um, other things that they've changed, the quite dramatic things, is the website. So you can see here, <laughs> bloody <laughs> advertising, um, you can see this here, they've changed quite a lot of their sort of branding, their sort of core focus on like tame your work, organize your life. They've got these new, these new sort of color icon or color palettes. Um, they actually wrote a little bit more about this in the refresh, in the information. They haven't fully done it, but you can start to see the website looks a lot thinner, lots cleaner. This is really nice from them. Um, they're also, uh, you can see these bold icons and whimsical illustrations they're focusing on as a sort of new look uh, experience. This is the new editor uh, text. It goes from a source serif pro to a inter. <laughs> but you can see the difference, just slightly bolder, slightly rounder uh, fonts, which is really nice. Uh, and they think that this is going to restructure and improve the way the accounts look like. Um, this is what the spaces look like if you're in, in a team spaces, so it's a lot cleaner. Um, They've just taken a noise out of it. Like, if you just look at the last one, it was just like bold, very 2013 Evernote, and then this is just like taking the weight off of it. Like that from this. It's not like a hideous redesign. As in, it's not a hideously big redesign. All it is is gutting what shouldn't have been there. It sort of reminds me of like when Phil Libin did the web design. Um... 2014, 10 years ago, maybe that's where they got the inspiration. Uh, <laughs> um, let me try and find it. Uh, Evernote Conference, I think it was. Uh, da -da -da -da. No, probably too far in the archives, isn't it? Um, let me see if I can find out as we're talking. Here we go. This is it. So, when they initially launched this in the thing, it sort of reminds me of this, the old Evernote that they just sort of like had a real clean focus on. I quite liked it, to be honest. 
So that's what it reminds me of, and that's what I think they're trying to aim for. Just like that is so much cleaner compared to this. Just less harsh colors. I'm rambling now. It's a good redesign. Um, other opinions are that, like, this is just the mass marketification of Evernote. We know this. It's the it's their goal of being um, everyone's app, everyone's note taker versus the community's note taker. Because I think, like, for me and you that are watching this, followed Evernote for so long, it's not going to be... We're not the target audience anymore, I don't think. I think the target audience are the everyday users of like Apple Notes. I think they're eventually going to be the upgrade. As soon as they start working on the mobile app, I think we'll see a dramatic increase in the amount of Evernote users. And I think that's where it's heading. This is a good first step. They're just gunning the noise, speeding things up. And uh, I mean, as a more pricier note-taking application, it's a good move. Um, the other thing as well is like the website always offers 50% off now. I feel like it's like one of these things where I don't know, you never buy a like um, HelloFresh, which is like a food delivery service at full price because it's always discounted. I feel like that might be like become a meme in the future. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed some of my opinions. Please do let me know them below because I'm really more into this channel um, on some of the opinions that are on there. So look forward to seeing some of your thoughts and uh, let's chat soon, folks.